Uh, my name is Stephen Orr, and uh, you would have seen me here at Oyster Mill Playhouse in last year's production of Move Over Mrs. Markham, which was another English farce similar to this one. I played Henry Lodge, a uh, notorious womanizer. And uh, prior to that, I was in uh, 2013's production of Almost Maine, which was a collection of uh, mini plays, and I was in a couple of those. One as um, a uh, husband breaking up with his wife, and another as a man who was realizing that he and his best friend might be more than just uh, good friends. So uh, this is my third production at Oyster Mill, and I'm, I'm really pleased to be here. My character is Francis Henschel, who is an out-of-work musician in uh, 1963 uh, London who is uh, kind of desperate to, to, to make some money and uh, takes a rather interesting uh, couple of jobs with a pair of gangsters. So uh, he's got some uh, real adventures ahead of him in this show. Oh, what makes Francis tick? Francis is driven by very, very simple needs. One is uh, food and the other is, well, let's just say companionship. All right, so uh, Francis is, is a very, very basic, uh, simple guy. Uh, he's not, there's not a whole lot of a, not a whole lot going on upstairs as far as Francis is concerned. He's hungry and he wants love. So what can I say? Oh, I love, uh, I love English comedies. I love farces. Uh, this particular play is also um, uh, an updated version of a Commedia dell'arte show, a very famous Commedia dell'arte show, which is the classic uh, comedy of the, uh, of the Italian Renaissance. Uh, that show was called uh, uh, Servant with Two Masters, and I used to actually be involved with Commedia dell'arte. I was part of a Commedia dell'arte troupe, so this particular show was uh, very appealing to me from that sort of farcical comic aspect. I get to do a little bit of improv, which I really enjoy doing as an actor. I think I find that I am often probably funnier in my own voice than I am trying to act through someone else's lines. So when I get to do a little improv in, that sh in this show, I really feel I uh, feel very comes like coming home to me. So um, when I had a chance to, to participate in the show, it was real. I'm really very excited about it. Well, it's easy for me. I've never actually seen the show before. I mean, I, I heard the show in the description, and I read the description. I know that uh, James Corden. I know him. I'm a fan of his. And when I heard about the show, I did learn through the process of studying that he had originated the role. But I haven't watched any of his performances. Uh, there are uh, clips available on YouTube or so or whatever, and I haven't seen any of that. I've rather studiously stayed away from seeing it because I don't want to even subconsciously find myself emulating anything that he's ever done. And really, that's what I tend to do uh, when I undertake a role that has a film version, um, you know, where you can see. Uh, uh, either on YouTube or, or rent a, a DVD of a movie of the play, I try and avoid watching it because I don't want what the other actors have done to influence my take on it. I always like to do it fresh myself. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but in this case, I've never seen the show apart from reading it and being involved with it. So um, hopefully everything everybody sees will just be pure, uh, pure me without any of uh, Mr. Corden in it at all. Not that that would be great because he's fantastic, but I really don't want it to be my own, uh, my own voice. Horse Mill's great. Uh, I've been out of theater for a few years. I, I used to actually work at the work professionally as an actor for a couple of years back when I was a lot younger, and had been involved with theater in high school before that, and um, you know had gone off to live in New York and, and Los Angeles and pursue you know acting in in, in those areas. As a lot of kids do, you know, when you're young. Um, and had come back to Pennsylvania and uh, started working, uh, you know, went, finished school, did all that, and had really spent a lot of time without doing any theater at all up until a few years back when I auditioned for uh, move, um, Almost May. So ever since then, Oyster Mill has been kind of my theatrical home. It's a great place to work. It's, uh, I think we do really high quality productions here. And uh, I'm just very happy to have found this as a as a place for me to pursue this interest. Of the public should come see this show because it is hilarious. Now, unless of course you don't enjoy humor. If you don't enjoy humor, if you don't enjoy laughing, if you don't enjoy a good time, you should probably stay home and do something else. 
if you do enjoy laughing, if you do enjoy humor, if you do enjoy quality theater, if you enjoy the idea of supporting your friends and family and this sort of institution, this community, and really if you just want to laugh and have a good time, you need to come see this show.